against the wind, hidden from view in shadow's light. They are never seen again. I stand in this place of charms, a mild spring wind brushes the branches, bark and wood surrender their rigidity, as willow, birch and hazel rock to and fro. The river rushes in a mild unceasing roar, almost as if singing the wind song, and high upon a thermal soars a lord of birds, a master of air, a craftsman of the sky. There are eagles here. Peace unadulterated serenity, yet beyond the paradise there grows a foreboding, it creeps, it permeates the space between all things, it is unseen but felt, heavy is the burden of the wild when it will soon fall to the conflict of man. Encroaching this oasis of nature is a grey mist becoming darker with every passing second. Soon we will be plunged into war, not just this wild abode, no abode will remain unscathed. This is what I have seen, I am truly sorry. Search for and find your spiritual kin, hold them to your heart, show them the meaning of your true love, tell them fear is the idiom of evil, love and trust is the honour of friends. Soon love and hate will be all there is. What do you choose? If just one person becomes inspired by one line of free thought that is not of their own creation, and that one person goes on to inspire others with their own lines of free thought, and those others create inspirations for future generations, then inspired those generations will become. An inspired generation fashions the tools to create an inspired world. When you look upon the sadness in this world and despair at the enormity of what lies before, a hopelessness befalls you, a solution, a closed door. Yet just one inspired thought aimed at another can open a path of a future sister and brother. The spark of my mind was ignited by others who were fired up by the minds of those who came before them. An inspirational pyre that is as old as humanity, yet is as new as the most distant part of humanity's future. It is an inspirational wildfire that ignites each heart and mind it touches. With each mind stoking the inspirational flame, a common ground of cooperation, unseen, unnoticed, yet as powerful as the fire within our sun. You and I can add the fuel to keep the flame alight for generations to come. Welcome back, my name is Andy Radford and you're listening to and watching the Edge Thursday Reports coming from the Edge's UK studio. That about wraps up the show for this week and I would like to thank Edge correspondent Gina Romano and her guest Deborah Hunter-Pitts and all other people who have been involved with this show. 
Don't forget to tune in to Daniel Ott's live show this Saturday night at 8pm Eastern Standard Time, August the 2nd, 2008, on the Edge's main channel. Daniel is speaking to William Kennedy about witchcraft and occultic crime. And on Sunday the 3rd of August 2008 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time you can watch Larry Cat Spiritually Speaking on the Edges Spiritual Channel. Before I go into the closing credits I'm going to play our editorial response to David Eel's attack on the Edge TV broadcast. My name is Andy Radford, your host for Edge Thursday Reports, coming to you from the Edge's UK studio. Thank you very much for listening, and until next week, goodbye. The Edge UK studio editorial in response to attacks on the Edge and some of its staff by David Eels. David Eales disagreed with the Edge's stance on the situation concerning Matthew Stephen, to such an extent that inaccurate comment has been posted on Eales's website. With respect to emails sent to the core Edge staff from other parties seemingly not connected, it appears that an old boy network has now rallied round him. We now know inaccurate comment has been posted to Eales' website, and this must bring into question many of the comments voiced by David Eales on the Edge live show of July 19, 2008. While we do not take sides in the feud between Eales and Stephen, the Edge UK studio takes a strong view toward any high-profile individual that sets out to harm our staff via vicious comment. This editorial does not concern itself with Matthew Stephen, he will stand or fall by his own actions. Eels, however, has now turned his rhetoric toward the Edge, because the Edge TV broadcast didn't act in the way he would have liked. When I was asked if David Eels would be appearing on the Thursday reports, I replied, No, as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Eels has already had his say on his own website. This small presentation is the UK studio editorial opinion on the issue. David Eels is welcome to reply via our forum, where his comments can be freely scrutinised by the Edge viewer and listener. The UK studio stance where Matthew Stephen and David Eales is concerned is one of absolute neutrality. This editorial only touches on the feud between these two parties. The UK studio is upholding that old bastion of civil liberty, innocent until proven guilty, and does not agree with the lynch mob and Spanish Inquisition mentality creeping onto our airways, therefore the proper thing to do is remain neutral. There are recognised avenues of law for these purposes, which are nothing whatsoever to do with the edge. Due process of law, along with its protection of the individual's rights, is an essential safeguard against the lynch mob hordes, so I suggest that if Mr Eels thinks there is a criminal grievance against Mr Stephen, this due process is sought for the protection of all the rights of people involved. It is fair for the plaintiff and fair for the defendant. Coming back to the issues surrounding the attack on the Edge TV broadcast, I have come to know and respect the two Edge staff David Eels calls into question, and I know them as honest, decent and tolerant individuals who strive to do the correct thing at all times, and I am deeply honoured to call them friends. The UK studio respectfully asked David Eels to understand the Edge's position of neutrality and put a distance between the Edge TV broadcast and his conflict with Matthew Stephen. The UK studio also understands that it in no way has or desires to have editorial control over David Eels, therefore knows he is free not to act accordingly. Lastly, in the interests of cooperation, decency and fairness demanded of a neutral stance, the Edge TV broadcast is willing to keep an open door of unconditional friendship and cooperation with all parties involved. <laughs>